What a ride it has been so far. On more than just one level. Look at them, joining the defensive pact against us. As if it would help them. We are firmly rooted in the heart of Europe now. I don't even know where my... Oh, right, my troops are... Going about pillaging here. Bringing home... Riches. My son needs a focus. Ah, oh, He's perfectly prepared for... His martial... Education. And so is his brother. Oh, it might even be this, but... We are not gonna put them. We, we want them all be our commanders. And compete for the throne. That is what we want. Now I was considering creating the Persian Empire. I don't know what happens if we do that. I think we just keep it because we do have... The Kaganate, and the Arabian Empire, and the Kaganate of France, so France, so we should keep the Persian Empire as well if, if we create it. So let's, let's create the Persian Empire and potentially ruin everything. <laughs> and now... It is ours. Will we lose it on succession? No, we shall not. Oh no. We have inherited a Timar. So one of our sons... The not-so-great ones, those become... Oh! He's brawny, he's great. He's He would be amazing as an heir. Shrewd and brawny, wow. What a child. Amazing. So let's see. Someone who isn't all that great. Arbitrary, gregarious. Also not bad. Indolent. What? Can't really tell yet with these. Do we have anyone with like a big drawback? The youngest one. Yes, quite a bit of prestige going. Let's see. Do we have brothers or something? Oh, well, we have a bunch of sisters who might have sons. My nephew, who is somewhere else. These are all somewhere else. Let's look to our court. Who might be in our court worthy of a title? Eh. Might as well give it to this man. We don't really care. As long as they pay us taxes. This uh, is all we need. Tax revenue. Ooh. Our son is ready. Not quite yet, though, because as we can see... These all have a lot more prestige. So now comes the moment where we give lots and lots of titles. First, we are going to kick this guy off our council. Bye bye. Now, we're going to get our son. Should be somewhere here. Where is our son? Oh, come now. Where is he? Am I blind? There he is. Is that him? Yes, there he is. He shall be our advisor. Wage... Gives him plus four a month. We're not done yet. Yep, goop. 
Our son is definitely our Yabgup. Our son will also be our designated regent. Probably down here somewhere still, again. There he is. He will be an Ishad. I think we can do that. It's not always possible. Sorting by dynasty. What does that sort by? Ah. Uh, let's go by opinion. He should have a fairly high opinion of us. Hmm. Well, he. It's a little bit like that game that you played as a kid, who's who, or something like that. Oh, he has a felt hat. And a beard. Let's find the felt hat beard guy. Okay, I can't find him for the position of Ishad. To the highest ranking general, so maybe he needs to be a commander. Was it you we fired? Or was it you we fired? Was it you we fired? Well. Where's our dear son? There he is. Now he is also a commander and now we should maybe be able to give him something here. You? Hmm. Okay, we can't make him an Ishad, but that's fine. There's still some other titles to throw around. Let's go towards the end here and try and find our son. I mean, we could do it a little bit easier. Um, we don't have honorary titles to give just yet. So... Does Warrior Lodge give us prestige? Let's see. Light Halls of Alexandria. Red News. Veteran. No, it doesn't look like it. Our capital is at an Aztec holy site. In Paris? What now? Okay. Um, if we kick a few people off our small council, we might be able to give him more. But let's see, can we put him as Kundur? Where's our son? Felt hat and beard. There must be a way to... Oh, he doesn't have a felt hat and beard anymore. He has a helmet and a beard. So these are exactly the same visually. I'm looking for the wrong person as it is. Uh, let's try again. I could just probably... Kappa. <laughs> yeah, you also have to write it correctly. Shadi shadi shad. Or tutor. Nah, he has all the titles he can have right now. So let's see, how much prestige does he get per month now? 11. It's not too shabby. I mean, beside being stubborn, he's really great. It's really quite great. Who are you betrothed to? Princess of something. It'll be fine. Probably. How much do you hate us? Enough already. So let's break this patrol ball. Ah, let's keep the non-aggression pack. It's fine. 
still accumulate enough uh, prestige. We'll recreate this. It doesn't really do anything bad for us. Now, let's 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 try to put some more money into developing Paris. And maybe we have some artifacts, maybe? Double things we can't use. No, let's let's get another smith going. Uh Can't because a few more months. No, actually, just a few more days until we can have another Smith. Let's hold some war games. Oh God, no! After, oh, yeah. Okay, so shouldn't there be? Ah. Uh. Usually has like message settings. There's probably a way to turn these off. But no one wants to come. No one wants to come. Those will be small war games indeed. How are our clans looking? Five out of nine. My courtier is the winner. Too bad it's not my son. The 200 prestige would have been nice. Was that his betrothed? No. She'll turn out all right. Sure. Okay. So. Oh. Okay, he has already surpassed everyone in uh, the prestige, so now if we die, he gets it all. Succession secured, and then we can play around with our other kids and see if maybe there's someone a little bit more worthy than him. This kid, for example. Though he is becoming a diplomat instead of anything else, which is interesting. He has a struggle focus. A lack of bravery. I've seen Erdan Zufde during a couple of gatherings with the Eagle Warriors, and I cannot help but notice how the old man appears needlessly jumpy. Flinching at jokes, turning down sparring matches. He needs guidance. I find myself muttering. As a warrior, he needs me. Of course he does. He agreed that he needs my help. In order to make him see things differently, we are to spend a few nights camping in the woods. Judging by the nervous laughter my proposal is met with, I suspect he is aware of the many dangers the wilderness holds. It is nothing for cowards, I conclude. I'll bring my fire striker, which costs me apparently almost a thousand gold, but gives me a whole fire prestige. And we will simply be out ourselves and not throw away a thousand gold for a piece of flint. There we go. What do we want? Nomad tax is just not really worth it. Yeah, let's go for the fort level. Let's upgrade our fortifications. Very good. We become friends and he becomes brave as we come back from our camping trip. All the traces of initial reluctance are, d are gone and I am proud to be able to compliment him on how, how, on how well he handled the experience. Cool. So is he now our friend? Yes, and he is immediately incapable with cancer. I understand why he might have been hesitant to, you know, 
go camping as an invalid cancer patient who is bedridden. Okay, he's preparing to invade somewhere. It's not really our concern. We're still raiding the same thing. I think we just take and take from the same place. Let's go south. And... Maybe put our son in the driving... Driver's seat here. So he gets a little bit of battlefield experience. Maybe we lose him on accident, but... We never really know. Oh yeah, we can commission a new smith. Let's do it. And... What of our items gives prestige? For the most part... What gives prestige? Mm -mm -mm. This gives the most prestige. So let's get us an armorsmith. Point is, I want to build an armor that I can give to my heir. Because I can only ever wear one. But I can give it down the line, so my kids benefit from it. We will not have anything but Muslim missionaries. Oh yes, very good. We have our possibility to forge a bloodline. Now, this is a, a fairly new mechanic, really. And we're almost there anyway, with 14 out of 15 on win 15 foreign wars. Um, murder or execute 30 people. All of these, depending on what you finish, gives different bonuses. In the last game we did with the Irish, we had something happened where we became like a center for learning and philosophy which granted us a lot of very well-educated people throughout the ages which is pretty great uh but i feel like for the warlike uh nomads probably the 15 foreign wars might be the way to go for us we are threatening might take a while but I'll take the chances. Unless a event chain pops up that allows us to finish a bloodline without any other interference. Because that was what happened last time. I had all these options here. But the bloodline I forged wasn't even on this. So let's see what happens. And we're just going through forging an armor set. Doesn't have to be the best thing. Uh, we just want something... Ugh, you know what? Let's have it be the best thing. <laughs> Why not? Maybe we get something better than we have, but I haven't seen anything of higher quality than these yet. As we ponder new ways to improve our realm, Court Physician whoop, approaches... Um... Okay, do we really need this? Yeah, okay, let's give some money to the peasantry. And immediately there's a heresy a preach, uh, happening. Cool. During the afternoon, as I went to check on the progress of Master Aladdin, <laughs> I walked in to see him getting my acquaintance Petronia to help with the forging process. Together they were lifting pieces of metal and Aladdin was showing Petronia how to mold the materials into shape. Not exactly what I'm paying for, but a form of service nonetheless. So, yeah, let, let's have the little girl become stronger. Why not? I don't exactly know. Oh, she's, she's in my prison, is she? Can I ransom her? Yeah, but he doesn't want to. 
Look, I made her better. Want her back? How many prisoners do we have? Okay, let's look at the bloodline thing again. Murder or execute 30 people. Let's check this. First we'll try and ransom and everyone else will just be slaughtered. I think. Could banish a few, but they don't bring money. So everyone who doesn't get the ransom will die. Good, everyone gone, except for her. All right, we already have champion, so we can't get it again. We need to be warden or guardian. Let's go for guardian because it's for our dear, dear heir. So these are of the same quality. Morale damage is the same, prestige is the same, martial is the same. They're virtually the same. So. What I'll do is I will give him Guardian, which of course he'll like, and I hope he'll wear it to get a little bit more base prestige. Come on, put on the Gondam armor. There we go, he has it. I mean, it's just a little bit, but... We're always happy to reinforce our position, as it is. Okay, our quick kid didn't really take to the military martial education that we put him up to. He's a really good diplomat, so let's, let's go this route. Let's see what becomes of him. What do you want? Yes. Marry my courtier. I don't, I don't really mind. Good. Good, good, good. Everything is looking peachy. Except for our threat. Level. Which... Eh, eh. I doubt it'll really hold us back. Because if we, if we check this... There's a pagan, and a Christian, and a Eastern, and a Muslim. And the Mazdan. Who are the Mazdan? Where or what is Mazdan? Iconoclast. I've never seen that. Taoist, Anshian, Tengri, which we are. I mean, we're going to find. We're going to find a target. Let's quickly find a target which is not in some sort of defensive pack. Well, they are. This looks fairly defensive. Um, let's see. Vladimir. That doesn't look too great for you. Bulgar. Who are you even? Nothing. So, I suppose it's time to, you know... Go back a little more east. Let's see. This looks good, doesn't it? What areas do you have? Nothing great. But this might be our war to forge our bloodline. Ooh, what is this? Empire of this level. I've never seen an empire down here. That's cool. That's really cool. But you have friends. Like, I don't understand why you don't look very friendly. I mean, the color's friendly. Alright. 